we only have in our budget enough monies to sponsor five individuals. We're targeting folks uh, that would be low income bracket that meet all of our requirements that would not be able to send themselves to the academy. We pay their tuition and while, while they are in the academy, uh, we pay them $10 an hour, 40 hours a week. They're a special worker. They're not gonna get rich, but at least it's a little something to help pay the bills. Uh, and then once you get out of the academy, you then you get bumped up into a probationary deputy. So this is an opportunity. I'm hoping that in our next budget year, we're able to expand this to at least 10 uh, deputies positions. And now when we can really start to make some headway in the community. Our minority is uh, also a part of the focus of the agency. It, the whole focus is on diversity. It, the whole focus is on making us as diverse as our community is around us. And obviously, if you look at you know, we're, we're, we are targeting with this program people who would not be able to get into law enforcement because they just don't have the money to pay to get the academy. And that's that's who we're looking to help. I mean, how much money the agency puts into this, Sheriff? Yeah, roughly it's uh, $55,000 is what the county puts into this program. And that's what we're hoping to double that money next year. It's roughly $11,000, $12,000 to for this program to work per person. We hired 33 last year, but you've had you have retirements, you constantly have retirements. So you, it's a never ending game and you have to just keep on constantly recruiting and constantly hiring. Hopefully we can close that gap. You're now a lieutenant. You started as a, a sponsored candidate. I went to Jacksonville University and I was actually in their aviation program. Um, obviously after 9-11, the economy took a turn for the worse. Um, the airline industry fell off a little bit and also flying was extremely expensive. So uh, the economy coupled with the amount of financial burden it would take to finish the program, I, op I opted to leave um, the aviation industry. My wife and I, we had our, at the time we were just dating, we had our, our daughter. So we were 21 years old, and unemployed. I found the sponsorship program with the sheriff's office because at the time I couldn't get any more loans because I tapped everything out with aviation because it was so expensive and I couldn't afford to put myself through BLE at the time. So in order to um, create a career, the sponsorship program I applied, and fortunately, um, as a matter of fact, I, I checked today. Um, today's my 12 year anniversary here for my date of hire. January 9th of 06 is when I, I started the sponsorship program. Without the sponsorship program, I most certainly would not be sitting in this chair talking to you today. Uh, and I don't think I would have had the career in any other industry that I've had so far in this, this, these last 12 years.